My name's uh, Bernie. I actually go by Ernie. That's what my first close friends call me, actually. We're kind of tight-knitted that way, and so that's what we do. I actually am a babysitter. Baby, that's actually the reason why I got into babysitting. I was an only child, and I wanted to see, like, I wondered what it would feel, feel like if I was, if I had siblings, so that's what I do now, today. Speaking of babysitting, who's this guy over here? Match Jamal. He is, um, I don't, I don't even know. How old are you, Jamal? I'm six. Okay, he's six, apparently. Honestly, I thought babysitting would be a little bit more fun, but it started off as a hobby, something that I could do for fun. It kind of turned into a lifestyle, and I hate it, but Jamal here isn't making it any much better. Oh, I don't get paid. Jamal! I don't get paid enough, actually. I get paid $3 an hour. If I had it my way, it would be $15. And I don't know. The perks don't like. So about kids, do you like them? I mean, I thought I did, but the more I do this job, the more I hate it. But like, it's actually quite all right. I mean, they're cute. They can be cute sometimes, I won't lie. It does suck when they say they need to throw up and I don't believe them and they end up throwing up. But yeah. Jamal! We, this is just our like personal connection place. We have a bond that's been formed here. And like, he loves the grass quite a bit, actually. And I don't know, he just loves this place and he loves around, he loves to scream and run around. He's kind of a danger to some kids, but it kind of lays off the stress off of me, so. Maria lets him get his anger out. He's kind of a hyper one. Yeah, no, it does let his anger out. He's, he's an emotional child. That's what you gotta understand. So I know why you started doing babysitting, but why do you still do it? I don't even know, man. I'm so sick of it. It's not worth it, and uh, the kid's a little hyper, and like, I don't get paid enough to put up with this kind of stuff, so. Yeah, do you hope to get a new job soon? Yeah. Hey buddy, how's it going out there? Come on, get out of your mouth! Get out of your mouth! Get out of your mouth! I have to be sit one right now, because this guy's a little bit of a handful. But we make good memories, we make it fun, right? What are you doing? Yeah, no, we make it fun. Will he be okay? I think so. I don't, this is the first time he's kind of acted up this way, but yeah. He's quite a handful sometimes though. <laughs> Jamal. Please, your dad's paying me, and I need to take care of you, and it would really help me out if you just didn't do your crap, okay? Thank you. Do you usually talk this way to your kids? Yeah, no, it's actually proven to help them, and like, it helps with their functionality. I am planning to have kids on my, of my own in the future. As long as I don't act like Jamal. I want my daddy. Yeah. I want my daddy. Cut it out. Cut I want my daddy. daddy. Jamal, shut up! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! Don't tell your mom. So, you're Jamal, right? Yes. I like to play Fortnite and Roblox. Do you guys get along pretty well? No. Not at all. Why no? Does this happen often? All the time. Every day. Parents know about it? No. Have you ever thought of telling them? I never see them. Sorry, Jamal. It's all right. No! Come on! No! Get! Come on! Stop that! Stop that right now! I've been a babysitter for about a week. Unless it was just Jamal being Jamal, I think I have a pretty good idea about how children act and how crazy they are, essentially. Do you think you'll ever see Jamal grow up and see how he is in the future? I hope not. <laughs> well, that's all we have time for. Thanks, Thank you very much for the interview. Yep.